Hello, differential equation students. In this problem, we're going to solve this uh, second order ODE. And we're going to use the method of undetermined coefficients. If you are um, new to the method of undetermined coefficients, I suggest you look at an introductory video, as this one is a little bit advanced. Um, we're going to have linearly dependent solutions in this case, and um, it's um, going to require a special form of the solution. So a uh, little bit of a warning. Right? So this is a little bit of an advanced problem. OK. The um, first thing we do is uh, we, of course, um, solve the uh, <clears throat> homogeneous solution, uh, ODE, and we get the complementary solution, um, or sometimes known as the homogeneous solution. And um, if you just integrate this twice, the first integration gives you a constant, that's the C1. The second integration gives you the C1x plus C2. And um, you notice that if you were to guess a particular solution of ax squared plus bx plus c, because you see a second degree polynomial here, um, this part of the solution can be written as a linear combination as the complementary solution. So, it's, so this part of the solution is linearly dependent upon this, uh, on the complementary solution. So um, we need to uh, keep multiplying this by x's until we eliminate the dependence upon this. So if we multiply by 1x, we would still have um, a cx, which would be linearly dependent upon that. So we have to multiply by another x, and we would end up with a um, ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared. Now that way, we um, no longer have the dependence on um, the c1x plus c2, because these are all higher degrees than this linear complementary solution. Okay, now we just um, take two derivatives. Um, in other words, we plug it in to the ODE, and uh, you take two derivatives, you get 12ax squared plus 6bx plus 2c. And now we just um, match up coefficients. So the first thing we do is we match up um, 12a with the 9, the second degree terms, and we get 12a equals 9. Uh, we match up the 6b with the 2, so we're matching up the linear terms, and we get 6b equals 2. And then finally, we match up 2c and minus 1, so we get 2c equals minus 1. And then we just solve. We get a is 3 fourths, b is, my, is 1 third, c is minus 1 half. And then we just plug that in to this particular solution, and we get 3 fourths x to the fourth plus 1 third x cubed minus 1 half x squared, and we add that to the complementary solution to get the general solution. And that is it. Okay, good luck.